Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back for our next episode of our Halloween layout build. And this table is quickly becoming uh, a favorite, I must say. Um, uh, I've changed the track plan. I'm not going to show you that tonight. But what I am going to show you is the choice of finishing out the tabletop so that we can uh, start to begin placing buildings and I'm excited to share it with you because it's turning out pretty cool so far. So I needed a like post apocalyptic type color scheme for the uh, top. So I chose to go with Woodland Scenics Fine Turf Yellow Grass. Static Grass in Wild Honey. Then Coarse Turf Yellow Grass. Then Static Grass Flock Light Green. Coarse Turf Burnt Grass. Fine Turf Earth. Static Grass Flock, Medium Green. Static Grass Flock, Harvest Gold. Then, I have some fake looking coal, just to add a little accent. And, for our paints, our base color is going to be gray. Then I am using some of the either yellow, either yellow oxide or uh, Naples yellow here. Green, raw umber, burnt sienna, and burnt umber. All right. And then, you know, I have three different size brushes. A lot of coverage, fine area, super fine area. And uh, I have my battery operated shop back here to clean up mess and to vacuum up extra uh, material when we're done. So enough of my face, let's, let's check out what we got going on here. There we go, let me work on this here. All right, so you can see that's what we have so far. There was a loop of 036. You can see a little color here. Uh, I'm not doing that right now. I'm gonna put it back up later. So let's go ahead and start with some gray paint. I just squirt it out of the tube. I take the heavy brush and I don't, I don't really do like brush strokes. I'm more like dabbing on. Just try to spread it out as evenly as possible and then don't leave any of the tabletop exposed. And I actually have the tabletop elevated right now because I just finished this one edge that I'm working against. Um, so, when it goes down into the frame, uh, you don't see any of the blue tabletop. I don't. I don't really care for this color for a, any of my layouts. I just like to use the foam. I don't want that color. So we keep doing this, and you know you want it to be as even as possible. And we're gonna do about a. one foot, well, about an 18 inch by one, maybe an inch, a foot and a half. Let's just do that. Now I know a lot of people have a lot of different techniques. This is just what I found works for me. There's a lot of cool techniques out there. Um, I just, I like paints 
And this also eliminates the need to get your Elmer's glue or whatever mixture that you make with water to hold all of your stuff in place. Um, so let's just keep going here. Almost done with this color. So we will cut that off about right there. Alright, then just get a little yellow. Doesn't much matter where I put it. Just put splotches. All you don't really ever see too much of this in the base color. I mean, I've used brown for base color, um, gray, black, you know, earth, like the Woodland Scenics, like earth. Um, base coat. On foam, this uh, Liquitex paint seems to work a little bit better than anything I've found because it does dry and um, becomes nice and hard. So there's a little bit of yellow. And let's take this green. Let's put some on its own. And put some in the yellow. Again, just dabbing. And you don't want to leave any like brush marks because you know your material that you cover it with isn't going to stick very well to brush marks. We'll use a little bit of this color. This is the raw sienna, more of a reddish tint to it sort of cool all right that tabletop's really vibrating with it being elevated an inch off the support beams that's all right we can still get it done all right so now it's looking like a hodgepodge of color, I'm sure. You guys are like, whew, I don't know about this. Uh, let's use this brown instead. Just drop some on, get the brush. Go around the edges of the green and the yellow and the raw sienna we go up against this edge where we stopped last time. Okay. I think we're ready to apply our other stuff. Okay, now so we have this big area. The first thing I'm gonna do is set all this paintbrush stuff out of the way over here. First thing I'm gonna do is grab the coarse turf. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it just randomly. Doesn't matter. You can use a spoon if you want to use the pour end, but I really don't want a whole lot of coarse turf on here. So we're just going to sprinkle it. And it doesn't have to be everywhere, you know, and you can make it heavier in some spots than others. Then let's get a little bit of the burnt grass turf. And I like to use the turf first because it needs... It needs the wet paint more than anything because it's so coarse, you know, for it to stick. 
I'm gonna do a patch of green right here over all this green paint. That'll look pretty good. And you don't want too much green, because again, this is like scorched earth or whatever. So next, I'm gonna take the fine turf and sprinkle it in just a little bit. All right, then let's get the earth tone. And again, you know, there's no science to this as far as like rhyme or reason. I just don't want to go too crazy on this stuff yet because I want to get my static grass going. All right, so static grass. So we're going to take and dump in a lot of the honey. Then we're going to use the light green. Not as much honey as we did the honey. Then we're going to take the harvest gold. I'll open the other side up. Fair amount of harvest gold. And then just a touch of the um, medium green. Not a whole lot. All right, then I'm going to mix it all together like this. All right, so we got our mixture going. Then I'm gonna put the little piece that helps with the static grass, the ground, um, into some of the wet paint on the edge there. Turn on the static grass, and then let's do our job. All right, and then we're gonna get close enough that it's pulling the static grass up. We gotta cover this line, obviously, where I stopped the last section. It's standing up, that's for sure. All right, that's enough static grass. Then let's go back to our earth. Let's add in a little more earth. And if you get too heavy on it, you can blow it around just a little bit. Change it up a little. Uh-oh, that doesn't matter. Then let's go back to this. how our first round turned out. Oh, got a little bit of space down here I want to cover up. Then get over here. Do a little bit of that. A little bit of this. All right. Then, let's take our vacuum. And I'm not going all the way down to the surface because I'm using the vacuum to pull the static grass up a little more and then also blend the colors by moving what's a little bit loose around on the tabletop.
All right. So. Let's see, is there any place I want to add any other color? Um, let's add a little bit of coarse turf to here. All right. Then I'll just tap it just a little bit, just to stick into the wet paint. And then let's add a little bit right here. All right, so now we've hidden the line from where we stopped last time to where it is now. So that's sort of how it's going. And um, we're making good progress. It's moving along pretty fast. So I hope you guys like this video. And I hope it's looking like a scorched earth, like desert, barren, wasteland. Because um, that is the theme of our layout. So hope everyone has a great night. And I'll talk to you next time. See ya.